We save people. That, that's why you're called the, the savior. Oh, the more you know. Yeah, I'm still a guy. I've always been the guy. Always been a guy. Why the hell didn't you know about the widow leading an army of your people straight up my ass in Alexandria? Hmm. What do you say to that, Gregory? You know what I think, Gregory? I think you're playing he both sides. He plays bad so well. I think you are a thin-dicked politician threading the needle with your thin, thin oh, dick. I wasn't aware of things until they were already in, in motion. You can't even look at him in the eye. No hesitation. Allegiance. Right lie there. After lie. The whole thing. You can already see where he's been smashing Lucille against the table. <clears throat> Please. Tell me we're not backsliding. This is a pronounced Eugene. event. Me. <laughs> Eugene still don't know what side he's on. Please don't kill Gabriel. I'm just pulling your dick, bring in your balls a little bit. Is he gonna try and get in his head like he did Eugene? Your friend Rick is an asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> okay, Gabe. Probably not the smartest yeah. idea. I am. Why would you stop for that bearded prick? Because he's a silly sausage. There had to be some reason I did what I did. What? Maybe this is the reason. I'm here to take your confession. What? The hell is that supposed to mean? Everyone's dead. Bullshit. Daryl's gonna shoot him now. No? So he's gonna keep making him suffer? I right know. Riff will sort it out. It gives me the chills just hearing that whistle. She's got some guns on her ear, aren't she? We should- Someone in here made everything out there happen. Well, he's smart, isn't he? he Kill plenty of people. We're gonna find that subhuman coward that did this to us, and we're gonna kill him very slowly in front of everyone. So they here. all think it's him think first. A few very long days. Still wearing Daryl's jacket. Eugene in his pickle jar. Still going strong. Uh oh. You're gonna see, Gaby. See, I'm gonna make you my new special project. Another Eugene now. Hell That's what he's working yes, on. Don't you crack, Gabe. I want his job. You might be dead soon. Going in. You may be dead. Goals. Carl told us about your wives, the women you pressure into marrying you. Oh, he doesn't look happy about him bringing that up, does he? Truth hurts, Negan. The one before all of this. Careful, Gabriel. The wife you promised to have and to hold Gabriel. forsaking all others. One you told that lie to. Gabriel! So this is where the guns are at, right? Uh-oh. We have a leakage. Now we know what we gotta do. We blow open the sanctuary, let the walkers flood in, we'll surrender. It'll be done. They have workers in there, right? Families, too. I wonder if that hair in front of his face winds him up. <laughs> you ain't doing uh oh. This. He's going rogue. Hey, I'm not letting you do this. Okay. Send your choice. Don't think he learned from Glenn, did he? Oh my god, I'd fume. Uh oh. So, after all that, a dumb fight, lost everything. Now look what you gone and did. Will you give me a ride because my guy won't start? There's a plan. 
Gotta see it through. Gotta win. Is he gonna cover Wait, himself in blood? Play dead ones across the courtyard. I locked my congregation out of my church when the soldiers started. Yes, she did. But I listen to them. You've come a long way since then. And every day, I work to lessen that failure, to be of service. And you've been, you've been doing a great job. How many people have gotten sick from this? We're from Georgia. <laughs> Look at you, lucky shit. There we go. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, the smell would be unbearable. They've not put it on their faces though. I'd be as thorough as possible. I'd be like, literally smearing it on my face. Because if that came at me, no thank you. The workers are... They're losing control already and Negan's only been gone for a brief moment. Where's Negan? Is he dead? Is he gonna enter in a dramatic fashion now, covered in blood? Everyone has to return to the factory floor now! I'm not going anywhere. Where's Negan? Dead. <gasps> I am Negan! Here he is. And they all kneel. Of course they do. Ah, uh, Regina. Now why'd you have to go and do that? Here's a little refresher on who the hell I He's am. He's not gonna I kill Gabe in front of all them people, is he? Seal, and my nutsack is made of steel. You see, we gotta figure out how all this could have happened like it happened. And then well, and then we're gonna get back to doing what we have always done. We will save people. Well, you take him to number two, gently. So does he get a sweater with the number two written on it now? Eugene's still in there, isn't he? He is. That look is, is making me believe in Eugene again. For someone that didn't care at all, he wouldn't be like that. Please don't let me down, Eugene. Gun came from. Find when the munitions went missing. Through that, we get an idea of the how, which hopefully leads us right he to... He knows. But we start He knows. Uh-oh. What are you... What are you thinking? I just can't figure Eugene out. Wait, what? What? Yo. Is he gonna grass him in? Dwight stuck up for you, remember? You solve this thing with the bad smelling convention outside? I will make you very, very happy. Um, Rick? You might have to do some zigzagging. Gabriel. It's Eugene Porter. This is what he did for Sasha, isn't Dr. it? Dr. Eugene Porter here. We were, uh, Neighbors. Is Gabe gonna shoot him? You need to see Dr. Carson 2.0 ASAP. Carson is Maggie's doctor. We have to get him out of here. We have to get him out of here. Has the fever got him? Okay, so with that episode, the first thing that comes to mind is Eugene. I still hold on to that bit of hope that Eugene is a good person and he's still on Rick's side. He has made me doubt his loyalty on multiple occasions now. That was a bit of a twist at the end there. We don't know if Gabriel's got an infection and if that is the case, there's a good chance that will flow throughout the sanctuary and get everyone sick like it happened in the prison that time. Negan not killing him, I'm glad about, but at the same time, it does confuse me. I know he's probably trying to do what he did with Eugene and trying to break him a little bit. He does save people that he feels have a purpose for him or can work for him in some way and obviously he sees something in Gabe and wants to keep him alive. There was a, an emotional scene there with Negan when he opened up about his his real wife and then it sounds as though he was a bit of a dick prior to the apocalypse as well, cheating on his wife and whatnot and then obviously he couldn't put her down when, he, when she lost her life during the apocalypse. So maybe that was his trigger, that's when he turned and decided that he was gonna 
switch off that switch in his brain, his humanity switch, and do whatever was needed to lead his people and survive basically and save people creating the saviors. I like that that scene where they brought that up as well with Gregory and linking those two together that was interesting. I felt like the whole Daryl Rick thing annoyed me more than anything. The fact that they were bickering and sort of fighting during a, such an important time and Daryl clearly has gone rogue now and he's one track minded. He wants revenge and he wants to win whereas Rick still cares about other people and he's still trying to save innocence where they can be saved. Uh, his humanity is still there somewhere even though he does kill people. There's still a line for Rick that he doesn't want to cross. Daryl needs to remember that it's teamwork. Teamwork is dreamwork. What's interesting is seeing the cracks form now within the saviors and the fact that Negan was gone for what a few hours or whatever and the whole place died falling apart. It sounded as though at the end the workers were genuinely appreciative of Negan because even though Negan does these bad things, it means that they have food on the table, they have shelter and their families are safe. As long as they abide by the rules, obviously if you break the rules then you are going to pay the consequences and not necessarily you personally, but someone you love could pay that consequence for you. So it's a very manipulative way of life and kind of reflective of the government as well, to be honest. But that's a whole different tangent. Another point I wanted to just bring up was Rick seeing the helicopter. That was slightly odd and it was very brief. He was leading up somewhere and they whistled what's going to happen from there, I'm not too sure. We still haven't seen the Junkyard people or Oceanside this season, so maybe they'll have something to do with next episode, I don't know, maybe. There's still a lot of the kingdom left and they just aren't aware of how many are left. Eugene has twigged that Dwight is the one that is behind everything. So whether Eugene snitches on Dwight or whether he plays along with it and then works alongside him, who knows? I'm just really hoping that Eugene is still a good person and is willing to do what is right for Abraham's sake because that's what Eugene should be fighting for. So I think that's everything on this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked this video, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to. There's no pressure here and I'll see you again soon for another video. Thanks guys. Bye.